Welcome to back to another episode of Stuff I Make with Grand Inquisitor Chris. I wanted to talk to you guys today about uh, sci-fi barrels. Uh, I'm sure plenty of people have actually seen these being made, uh, or seen people using these as scatter terrain. Basically, you take two bottle caps, you glue them together, and then paint them up and put them out of scatter terrain. The problem is that all the people I've seen do these, all that they do is uh, basically put super glue around the edges on the two sides and glue them together. And the problem with that is these are two that I did with that method to show you in this video. If you squeeze it, it pops right back off because the plastic is flexible and unless you put a ton of glue on, and super glue is not the best for this, unless you put a ton of glue on, it's not really going to work. Now this one actually used accelerant because sometimes accelerant will help super glue stay a little better. As you can see they pop off. So these are fragile. Let me show you how I did this one because this one you cannot get to pop apart and that's the purpose of today's video. I'm going to show you how to do something that's not fragile like this to something that is incredibly sturdy. So I'm just going to show you on one but I've got a few extra barrels here. I've got this piece of uh, craft stick. I have marked it off into three quarter inch increments. I've got a pair of these. Doesn't have to be pretty. Be careful not to cut yourself. Doesn't have to be pretty on the ends. Just has to work. So take, I'm going to take three of these for each one. I'm not going to do these ones until I get them cleaned up to get the super glue off the edges because it's a little crusty but you take three for each one of these, take your two sides, I'm going to take a hot glue gun, and you're going to fill the barrel up, or fill this half of it up. You want to make sure you get it into the threads along the side. Try not to get it on your finger because that's a little bit hot. Okay. You don't have to fill it up all the way completely, but you want to get it so that it is pretty close to right there at the edge. Let me see if I can show you. You can kind of see how I've gotten it just about maybe a millimeter or two short of the edge. And be careful, even the plastic gets a little hot. Okay, you're going to take your three craft sticks, you're going to put them in. Now you can put these right next to each other if you want. You can uh, basically put them, you can stack them next to each other and uh, uh, one timber you can put them in separately like this. But basically you're just doing this as a, uh, essentially as a pin. You're going to take and set that off to the side now for a moment. Get your hot glue out again. You're going to fill this one up just like you did the other. It doesn't have to be all the way exactly to the top, it just has to be within a millimeter or two of it. Now carefully go ahead and put that one in there and you want to leave at least a little bit of uh, space at the top you don't want to fill it all the way up to the top because you want space for the wood to go into the glue you don't want it to overflow out the edges but set it off to the side because now it's extremely hot um, set it off to the side to, to cool and then you end up with something incredibly sturdy so I'll go ahead and do I'll go ahead and do these two while I'm here. This is going to be a short video, it looks like. And this does use a lot of uh, the glue stick. But you're going to find another thing that I like about this, beyond just the sturdiness aspect of it, is that it is incredibly uh, weighty. So it... it uh, adds a nice weight to the piece so it feels a little better when you're holding them 
Um, and like I said, because they're as sturdy as they are, you don't have to worry nearly as much about uh, these cracking or falling apart, which means you're not going to have to be replacing and repairing these constantly. You don't have to worry about how uh, gentle people are going to be with your terrain, because these are going to last for quite a while. Okay. Um, when I paint these, before I paint them, I'm going to go ahead and uh, wipe them down with uh, some rubbing alcohol to make sure that they're nice and clean. And then when I paint them, I'm going to paint them with uh, Krylon Fusion because it bonds to plastic really well. So I'll pick either a satin or a flat if I can find it at the hardware store uh, to do the priming just to make sure that the paint stays on these because one of the other issues with these is that the uh, plastic they're made out of isn't exactly the best for painting. Okay, so there we go, set that one off to the side. This one is still pretty hot. Probably gonna let those sit there for about uh, an hour or so just till they fully cool off. Let's stick in there straight. There we go. And you will eat up a lot of glue doing this. <clears throat> but I look at it as I would rather eat up a lot of glue in this process at this stage than to worry about these falling apart and spending time fixing them. Because basically you could put these in a slingshot and hurt someone really badly. They're that sturdy. Because since the glue is going to dry solid and it's going to be in the threads and it's got this to act as a pin these things are going to be pretty much you're not going to be able to bust them apart without a pair of uh, serious pliers or maybe running them over um, but pretty much in no time at all you can have an entire collection of these things all ready to go thought I'd uh, go ahead and share this tip on how to make some really sturdy sci-fi barrels. Talk to you guys later. Bye.